So my article is about um, basically the uh, connection between faculty governance and faculty administration relations over the past couple decades and larger um, trends in like the US economy and like education funding and the ways that that affects um, how faculty and administration kind of prioritize uh, funding for different, for different institutes. In just a preliminary data analysis that I've done, uh, it seems like uh, federal funding has mostly uh, increased uh, over the past uh, 30 years, but um, I'll have to put that into the context of um, other sorts of funding um, and see whether it's increased at the same pace or whether it's uh, stayed uh, at a lower rate. There was a big controversy um, back in 2011. Um, so there was a trustee uh, who um, wanted to fund a neuroeconomics institute. Um, and so he put forward something on the several million dollars to, to, to start this institute. But um, basically he wanted to have a bunch of neuroscientists work on his own like kind of theory, because he was himself an economist, to prove, I guess basically disprove rational choice theory um, with like, I guess, genomics and biology. Uh, but a lot of um, faculty kind of protest, protested this because they thought that it was like not scientifically sound, and that it was just kind of serving the interests of this one trustee. So there was a lot of, a lot of debate over, you know, uh, and the administration kind of stepped in to try to like facilitate, you know, like who like had the real power in this situation. Um, but eventually uh, the faculty kind of won out in that decision. Um, they added neuroscience to the name of the institute. Uh, and so today it's known as the Grossman Institute for Neuroscience, and it's run by neuroscientists. So, and it mainly does um, work in like good neuroscience. So that's been the outcome, but that was a really big um, controversy a couple years ago. I think it's really important because it raises questions of, you know, like what kinds of academic research count as, I guess, valuable, and who gets to decide what research counts as valuable, and so, a lot of the times, you know, it's assumed, students like to assume that faculty are ultimately in charge, but uh, the administration has a bigger role to play in deciding, you know, what sorts of institutes and research gets money. Um, and that's also connected to larger trends in the American economy. And so I really want to kind of pick out the uh, intricacies of how that works out and um, how we end up with the institutes that we have.